The Lord be with you. I'm Pastor Luther, serving Incarnation and Shepherd of Life Lutheran Churches, and this is at the close of the day. Our Bible reading for this evening comes to us from 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 8 through 10, and I'm reading from the Message Translation. Thank God. Call out his name. Tell the whole world who he is and what he's done. Sing to him. Play songs for him. Broadcast all his wonders. Revel in his holy name. God seekers, be jubilant. It is true that sometimes these Old Testament texts seem to declare God's wonder much more regularly and much more vigorously than we do. And I think it's a good reminder for us to praise God for all that he does and all that he accomplishes for us, all that he's given to us. Remember, too, that when we are called upon to pray, the first thing that we do in prayer is adoration. We need to call upon God's name and bless him for who he is before we say anything else. The confession, the thanksgiving, the supplication, all that's part of it. But first, let's adore God and learn from this text. Join me now in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.